Hi everyone, this is Evie, and this is um, another tag that I created inspired by the music theme that um, your paper pantry was having for their swap, and I'm so sorry that I couldn't join the swap, but I still wanted to work on some projects with that theme, <clears throat> and keep getting better at my technique so that I can feel more comfortable joining those swaps and sending things to, to people. So Steph, this is the second one that I worked on and this one is um, is another image that I found. So this vintage music sheet is let me see if I can lift it up. It's called Fairy Whispers. Nocturne Sydney Smith. And it's um yeah it's 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 a music booklet for the piano. So I found that image and then I mixed it with this other beautiful image that I found of this girl. And just I mean she looks angelical. You know like like the lighting on it and everything on it. It's it's just it's just so pretty. So I thought of the fairy whispers and then that image and I thought of a little story behind it and that's also inspired by um, what Steph was saying on her videos. I like to think of things too. I mean I like to kind of make a story behind what I'm trying to achieve visually so I decided to create a fairy to um, to go with the, the title on this music sheet and she looks like she's like listening to music and dreaming and kind of like, I don't know, sad or... It was just like, it just felt magical to me. So I thought of adding a little fairy on the side. So this little fairy here I created by stamping out this image here from Hero Arts, this one here. And then what I did was that I stamped this little butterfly over here and I just cut the wings off of that. I curled them up here and I glued them to her back and I added some stickles to that and then I added some these are like confettis can you see them here? but they're shaped like little tiny flowers so I added those to her to her um hair and then I added some more to the back of my chipboard that I had painted with this folk art. Oops, folk art. It's called the uh, champagne. That's the name of that color. So I also added some little bling to the sides. And then this beautiful image of a piano, like a vintage piano with the word music written on it, like Scrabble letters. I added that behind this picture that I printed out. So all of these images are printed on my inkjet. And um, this time I didn't cover them with gel medium. And I like a lot more how this looks. I mean, I like, I mean, the other ones worked out with the gel medium, but you still get those brush marks on it, and I don't know why, I just, I'm not convinced about that. <laughs> if you, anyone out there knows how to do that better, please um, let me know, because I'm still trying to work on that technique, and I'm not convinced yet of that texture that I get. So anyways, I added um, one of the skeleton leaves that Olga sent me in her rack. So thank you, Olga, for that. I'm loving these skeleton leaves. And then down here is um, one of the flowers that Sharon sent me in her package. And I love it. Sharon, I finally found a special spot for it. So it's on my music tag. And it's like a, it's like a taupey color with gold. So it's a mixture of those two colors. And then in the center, I added a peach flat back pearl from the ones that I just got from Emily, Babbers 1691. And then there's some stamens down here and um, like a 
antique gold, kind of coppery. And then on the border here, I added some uh, of my lavish laces that I just got. So that's what the front looks like. And then when I turn it around, I have this vintage um, paper, music paper sheet that has nothing written on it yet. So you can do some journaling on this. And then there's stickles all around this part and then going down to the side. And then there's sequins all around with little bling inside or the flower confetti. And then this is one of the flowers that I got from the Lavish Laces grab bag. And there's this little sentiment, I mean this um, quote here that says music is what feelings sound like. So I added that here and that's kind of like lifted up. And it's held down by these two clusters of sequins and bling. So that's what my second music inspired tag looks like. And um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this in time for the swap. But I still um, felt I wanted to go for the challenge of trying to use some printed images and to see how they work out so I can get better at the technique and feel more comfortable sharing these type of things with, um, with people. And I kind of like how it turned out. So, And I still have these three that I printed out that I didn't end up using for this, but I'm, I love the images, so I might work on something with this, but I found this image here, and then this other image here that I love, how it looks, and then this quote from Plato, it says, music is a moral law, it gives soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination. Isn't that a great quote? So I love that one. So I might work on something with that, but I still have that for something else. <laughs> so that's that's the second tag that I worked on, on based on the music theme, and I I I love all the elements that I used on on the tag, and it just it looks completely different from from the other one that I worked on. So I'm having so much fun, so much fun. So thank you, Steph, for the indirect challenge of um, <clears throat> going through the suggestion that you that you told me about and and I'm, I'm going to keep on playing until and, and so I find the right formula so if, if anyone of my subbies out there has any feedback on that or knows um, any techniques that I can I can use to get um, better at this please feel free to leave some comments and help me out and um, join me in this creative journey and, and my experiments. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, the other only thing that I wanted to mention was that I'm super um, excited. I'm very uh, thankful because um, this back here is, is one of the hankies that used to belong to my grandmother. I have a little baggie of them and I keep them all folded up inside because they still smell of, of her house. It's like a powdery fresh smell. So every time I use them to accompany my projects and special things that I work on, I fold them up and put them back in that little bag. And um, this week I went to a family dinner and I was mentioning that I wanted to find some vintage things and, and jewelry things that I could work with or or try out with my project and things. And there's a, there were um, boxes that were that were put aside with things that used to belong to her. And I asked if I if I could have those because no one else had um, wanted them. And um, and and I got some of those boxes. So hopefully I'll be sharing a video um, with those things with you guys so you can get to see um, all the special things that I that I have um, from her um, jewelry stash. It's 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 
not vintage, but it's it's fashion jewelry because she loved accessories. So I'll share with you some of that later on, okay? So thanks a lot and big hugs and kisses, everyone. Take care and leave me some comments. Let me know what um, you think, okay? Bye.